before I jump into this video, I am not employed or hired by any of these companies. I am a run-of-the-mill consumer that is purchasing products, giving them a run for their money, testing them. I'm really into a good product experience and I do find these videos very helpful if someone is looking to make a purchase, is wondering what to buy. So just to see what you get in the box and also to get an opinion and I'll share obviously whatever I read up online with regards to reviews. But um, I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see future videos, make sure to subscribe. So here we go, another unboxing video. And in this video, I'm going to be unboxing a household essential, which is um, a vacuum cleaner. So I recently decided to get this Genesis HydroVac and it is Max is going to be part of the unboxing. Come Max. So here we go, it's the Genesis HydroVac. So the brand is Genesis and um, the company that markets this product is very marked. They're, they're one of these like infomercial companies in South Africa. You know, they do these, <laughs> these long adverts with all the added benefits, well, whatever. They sell these through different stores now and um, I had a look at some different options online and I really wanted to get a vacuum cleaner that filters through the water so it doesn't have any bags. Uh, the dust gets trapped in the water and then you can empty the water. So I had a look at some different options. They do have various models. So they have a smaller model than this one and they have even bigger ones and, and heavier duty ones. I decided to go for the HydroVac Plus and it says here 40 years quality service innovation, cyclonic technology filtration, water filtration system, multi-purpose wet and dry, two year quality guarantee. So that all sounds exceptionally awesome. If I have a look at this side, we can see some fancy graphics showing how this thing works. Then it says no dust bags needed, which is really good. We've got easy to empty. Okay, I personally would not empty it into my uh, sink in the bathroom. I'd rather do it in the toilet, personal preference. And then removes dust mites, always a plus. So, and then a few other details. So yeah, let's get this guy out of the box and see what it's all about. So these are the wheels that we have to install on the bottom. Okay, so we have got this main big fixture for doing the floor. I think there are no switches on this one. This one just rotates for carpets. Then Got this one for a bit of a smaller fixture, which I know here you can push that down or you can adjust the setting, whether you want this brush in or out. Uh, this one looks like a wet squeegee type of a fitting. Lots of smaller ones here. This one has got some kind of a little brush here uh, for getting into small areas. This is a very useful one to get into the corners your smaller little brush attachment. So, it's got wheels now, it can move. First impressions, I have to say, is that it actually looks pretty decent. I did read 
quite a few of the reviews online. They were mixed. Some people loved this device. Other people had less positive experiences. Some people mentioned that just once it got out of the guarantee period, it broke. Or some other people mentioned that the fittings, like the clamps, etc., were poor quality. Um, this, I must say, is not bad. I think it's actually pretty good. You should obviously always be careful with these types of products. They're not super high-end. They're not going to last forever. So, um, tread with caution. And I also read in a review that the guarantee is apparently only on the motor. So, if any of your fittings or clamps or wheels or whatever fall off or break off, then apparently that's not covered in the guarantee. I'm not 100% sure if that's right, but that's what I read. So, uh, this is pretty much it. I'm assuming this side goes in here. Again, this is sort of, uh, I would call it more entry range or middle of the range. Definitely not high-end vacuum cleaners. You can spend a lot more money and get something a lot more durable and professional and long-lasting. With this guy, I think you, it's good value for money. You get a good product and at an affordable price. So, so you align these little pieces with the gaps here. There we go. You align them up, push it in, and then twist it slightly so it locks in place. You gotta fill this this bottom part with water up to that level over there. Um, you don't want to put too much water in these types of vacuum cleaners because if you move it around and the water splashes, you don't want the water getting to the engine. So make sure you just fill the water to the high water mark and um, then you can start attaching whichever fittings. With this one, this is an extension pole that goes into your kind of uh, floor add-ons. Or I guess they go into all the add-ons. You can push this button and this comes in and out. So. Uh, yes, that's very cool. This part goes in here, and this part goes in there, and you off to the races. The other thing I did want to mention was I was first going to buy the Hydrovac Compact, which was a bit more affordable, and it is a smaller device. I ordered that one on the Verimark website, and I had a bit of a I had a poor purchasing experience. I, I put in my card details on the and. There was no confirmation page, I just got an error once I hit submit payment and the payment did go through but, and I did get a confirmation email from the payment gateway but I didn't get a confirmation from the actual company and the brand that my purchase was successful. So then I sent an email to the email address that was in the confirmation email from the payment gateway and that email bounced so it couldn't be delivered and then I just had a bad feeling about the purchase that I'd made so it was generally a bad online purchasing experience and I ended up asking for a refund for that specific device and I ended up buying it from another online retailer and it was delivered the next day. So that was my experience with Verimark. I hope they can resolve that and improve the user experience, the purchasing experience, and that way they'll definitely be selling more products online. So I just thought I'd share that. So this is the dust filter that can be cleaned, I believe, but it says you never replace this filter if not completely dry. So you want to make sure that everything's dry and then you can turn it that way to unlock it and turn that way to lock it. So that's an important thing to also know about and remember. And it says here, important if you notice a drop in suction power, please remove this cover. By turning it anti-clockwise inside, you will find a microparticle filter or sponge filter depending on model. This filter should be washed under running water and only replaced once completely dry. Refer to the manual for further details. So that's always good to know. And you obviously want to make sure to close this correctly because you don't want water getting in here. Which I think it's not correctly closed. There we go. That seems to be closed correctly. And then the way this goes in is uh, it's always, so wherever this gap is, is where the pipe is, I believe. So, this way. Yep, and then you can clamp it closed. So here we go, here's a description of all the different add-ons. You've got the multi-surface tool, the turbo brush, upholstery tool, extension pipe, dusting brush, crevice tool, and wet attachment. So, that is awesome. Uh, gives you the basics of uh, what goes where. There you can see that's what the micro particle filter looks like. And it also explains how to access it. So the one thing I haven't managed to find out is where this thing is manufactured or made. I find that interesting that that's nowhere on the box and it's nowhere in the manual. 
So that is something I would like to find out. I thought by law they have to add that onto the box. So I thought that is um, quite interesting. That's it for the unboxing. I think this is a very cool product. I'm gonna test it out and I'll give you some more feedback. And then here I believe is a dial that you can change. So how strong you want the suction to be. So we can test that now. Mm -hmm. 